Jackie, welcome to Luton. How good does it feel to be here? Yeah, really good. Um, it still doesn't, doesn't feel real, I don't think. Um, I've known about the, the interest for a, a long time and, and since I've known about it, I've been so excited. But for it to be finally done, like, I'm, I'm over the moon. How excited are you to be playing in the Premier League? Was it a dream of yours growing up as a kid? Yeah, yeah I think it's every kid's dream really is to play in the Premier League. And um, obviously I, I've not done it yet. I need to, to work hard and, mm -hmm. and earn my chance. But if I do get that chance, I'm, I'm so um, grateful for it and I'm really looking forward to it. Where did your love for football start then? Um, I'd say growing up, is, it mainly come from uh, my dad. Like Football was always on in the house. Um, one of my, my elder brothers, he, he was playing football as well. Okay. Um, so I just always go to the park with them, be playing football literally all the time, come home, watch football. Um, so literally just from being young, I always love football and, and always will. If you were to go back in time now and tell your younger self that you are sat here today as a Premier League player, would you, would you have believed it? Have you always had that belief that you'd make it to the um, top level? I think I've always been confident that I'll, I'll work my hardest to, to achieve that goal, but I, I, I if I'm being honest, I, I never say that I thought it would happen mm -hmm. um, because I've had a lot of setbacks like over over my time, and um, to to finally be able to say that now, like it, it's a crazy feeling, and it's one that I'm um, like I've been working really hard for, and I'm just going to keep working hard. A lot of the lads that have been around Luton at the moment always talk about how good the group are and how the togetherness really shines through. I take you you heard about that and would have played it factor in joining us yeah 100% um, I think for me coming in now I, I think that I'll settle quite well because I know like a lot of the players that are here um, obviously Alfie was at Stoke last season he yeah. was a great guy I played at Barnsley with Coley uh, Mads I know Alan uh, Campbell from Scotland um, and then uh, Luke Berry Jordan Clark they're with the same agents and obviously played for Barnsley so <laughs> I, I know quite a lot of the lads um, Kevin Pilkett and like, staff and everything so yeah, how does it make you feel when you come into a new club and you actually do know quite a lot of people? Does it make it really easy to settle in? Yeah, I, I mean, obviously I've met people that I've not met today and I, I just feel welcome already. Like everyone's really welcoming um, and knowing players, it, it's so much better. And it's the first time I've come to a club and, and really like known a lot of the players. So I think that'll definitely help me playing wise because I'll just settle in straight away. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And a bit of your journey, you were at uh, Barnsley and you went to Chesterfield ended up at Stoke as well, one player of the year at Stoke. What, what have you taken from the last few clubs you've had? Yeah, I think um, it, it's been a bit of a crazy journey because obviously um, before that, I was at Sheffield Wednesday till, till like 14 and got released. Um, and I was just playing Sunday League for mm -hmm. like, till I was like 17. So in, in that time, I was sort of just wanting to enjoy football. I'd not thought about possibly being in this position. Yeah. And then to, to play in, in League Two on loan at Chesterfield, then playing League One, get promoted. I've now played a number of years in the Championship. Like I feel like I've really like worked my way up, and and I wouldn't change anything about that. And I think that's helped me get to where I am now. Um, so to now have that next step up and, and get a chance in the Premier League is something that I've really been working for. A lot of players say that when you drop down the divisions, it's quite an important lesson to then be able to bounce back and, and work your way up the leagues again. Yeah, 100%. And I, I, I've always said that um, when I went on loan to Chesterfield, obviously I was playing for a, a League One club at the time, but I'd never played mm -hmm. in the League One. Um, so then to play League Two, that was a, it was actually a step up for me. Um, got that experience. Uh, it, it didn't go as, as I would have wanted it to, but mm -hmm. to get the experience and then have that experience going into the next league. And then you just take all your past experiences uh, you learn a lot from, from the ups and the downs um, and that's what gets you to where you are. And how excited are you now to be a Premier League player and we start our season on Saturday against Brighton. It's going to be a tough game but I'm sure you're raring to go now. Yeah, honestly, like I'm, I'm so excited. Um, it still doesn't really feel real when you say that and I, I don't know when, when it will. Um, I think we're thinking the same still as fans. Yeah, it still doesn't feel like, real. But... Obviously, everyone, like, the, the journey that the club's gone on, obviously I'm only joining here now, but you can see like where the club's coming and how much it means to the players, the staff and, and the fans and to be a part of that now, like honestly I'm 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 buzzing for it and I'm just gonna work my hardest and give my all for the fans. And do you set yourself personal goals for the season? What, what what are you hoping to aim for in the Premier League? Um well I think obviously like the goal for everyone is, is to stay in the league and it, it's people might have the, the doubts and we might be underdogs but we're, we're going to be here giving it all that we've got and, and I think I've, I've not met everyone yet but I know that everyone's going to be 
be working super hard. Mm -hmm. Everyone's really excited for it. Um, and we're just going to give it all we can. But for me, coming to a new club, like obviously I need to, to work hard, earn my place in the team. Um, and yeah, just give all I can every day. Well, mate, best of luck. Can't nice wait to one. see you putting that actually again in the Thank prem. you very much. Nice one, mate. Thank you. Ross, welcome to Luton. Thank you. I know you're a player who's had a whole lot of top level experience. So I guess my first question is why Luton? Um, you know, the story of the club coming from the conference all the way